ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू वन कैलामिटी स्ट्राइक्स भगवान बाबा टेक्स केयर ऑफ अस इवन मोर देन ए क्लोज रिलेटिव वुड सो फॉर ऑल हिज डिवोटिज इज आपद बांधवा आपद बंद हवा इज मोर देन एनी क्लोज रिलेटिव दोज हु हैव टोटल फेथ इन गॉड सरेंडर देम सेल्स कंप्लीटली टू हिम अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर फास्ट कर्मा दे हैव टू एनकाउंटर कैलामिटीज बट एट दैट टाइम गॉड रशस टू हेल्प एंड रेस्क्यू देम Here is a story to illustrate this. A devotee of Swami named Mr. Kulkarni lived in Bangalore. In July 1964, while performing puja in his worship room, he felt giddy and fainted. Mrs. Kulkarni and a servant were in the house at that time. The servant ran to the neighbor, Mr. Rizbud, R I S B U D, and informed him. Mr. Rizbud, along with another neighbor, rushed to Mr. Kulkarni's house. They saw Kulkarni lying flat on the floor, so the two of them lifted him and put him on a bed. In doing so. they realized that his left side of the body was paralyzed mr risbud rushed to call the doctor when risbud returned with the doctor he saw kulkarni sitting in the puja room she was very calm and was engrossed in her prayers suddenly everyone noticed that vibhuti started falling from swami's photograph the doctor meanwhile diagnosed paralysis and started the treatment the vibhuti shower the vibhuti shower came continuously for 4 days 4 days it stopped but by then mr kulkarni was out of danger and within 2 months return back to normal what one understands from this story is mrs kulkarni's total faith in swami she had completely surrendered to him yes through the vibhuti swami showed his divine presence and pulled mr kulkarni out of danger and cured him completely Mr. Kulkarni's neighbor, Mr. Rizbud, had a son who was undergoing some training in Mumbai. In order to come home to Bangalore, he took leave for a few days. Before reaching Bangalore, he got off the train at Dharmavaram station and came to Puttaparthi. He took Swami's darshan and blessings. and left for dharmavaram in order to reach bangalore as he reached the station the police stopped him and started asking a lot of questions this was during the indo china war and the police were extra vigilant although they made a detailed inquiry this young man was not afraid calmly he took swami's photo out of his pocket showed it to the police and told them that he had gone for swami's darshan and was returning his home town the moment they heard this they let him go and his onward journey to bangalore was uneventful and safe that is bhagwan baba swami says i'm pure love I only give bliss, and through this bliss you get love. 
innumerable devotees the world over have experienced Swami's love. It has also been scientifically proved that he constantly showers love. In July 1976, a scientist named Dr. Frank Baranowski photographed Swami with a Kirlian camera. This is a special camera which can capture the aura that surrounds living beings. Dr. Baranowski had conducted a lot of research on this topic and had photographed many people from different fields and stratas of society in order to study their auras. When he observed Swami's photographs, he was stunned because he had never ever come across such an aura, which was white, blue and pink in color, with streaks of gold and silver. These colors represent pure concentrated love. Here is a story about Swami's pure love for his devotees. In 1966, a couple from a middle class background went to Prasantinalayam for Swami's darshan. Swami showered his grace and called them for an interview. During this interview, he told the lady, even if you have not told anybody the real reason for your sorrow, I know about it. Your husband thinks you are sad because of the financial constraints. But that's not true. You are sad because you are worried. You are worried about your brother. You call me your mother, father, guru, brother and friend, isn't it? Then why do you worry? From on, now on, you'll be free from worry. Go home happily. Then they return home happy with Swami's blessings. They had a big surprise awaiting them. The reason was very unusual. This lady's brother had participated in 1942 freedom struggle. He had got injured badly in the police Lati charge. He had been struck on his head and had fallen unconscious. When he regained consciousness, he had suffered from loss of memory. The lady was worried about the brother's condition and especially concerned about his well-being after she would pass away. But Sai, who is the embodiment of love, gave her the assurance and removed her worry. When the couple returned home, the brother was standing in the doorway, awaiting their arrival. After a long span of 24 years, he had recovered miraculously and was a normal man. This was a gift from Prema Swarupa Sai. Sant Tukaram says, Love is a gift from God. It removes body consciousness and unites with God. How true it is. Swami says, Love is my form. Prema Swarupa showers unconditional love on everybody with his gracious glances. During the Shirdi incarnation, many were recipients of Sainath's anger. However, deep below the anger was only love for the devotees. In the Parthi incarnation, Sri Satchasai only showers love and does not get angry with anybody. Once when someone asked Swami about this, he said, When a mother is cooking, if her child comes in the way, she gets angry. But when she is serving food, she feeds the same child very lovingly, so that the child is satiated. Here is a story about uh, Prema Swarupa Sai Graves. Some years ago, the students of Puttaparthi school 
were seated for Swami's darshan. After his round in the darshan hall, Swami reached the veranda. He stopped for a moment and turned back. He came to the rows where the children were seated, stood in front of a child and stared at him. In a stern voice, Swami asked the child, Can't you go? Can't you go to the doctor? Can't you go to the doctor? Why did Swami get annoyed with the child? The boy had mums. Since the past two days, his cheeks were swollen and he was wincing in pain. When Swami asked this question, the child replied in innocence, Swami, when you are everything to me, why should I go to the doctor? Swami burst out laughing. He burst out, yes. That, that our experience many a time. He gently patted the child on his back and went away. Next day, everyone who saw the child was surprised because he looked completely normal. The swelling on his cheeks was gone and there was no pain. But when Swami came from his round of darshan, everyone saw the swelling on his cheeks. That innocent child put his burden on me with so much of faith. How can I let him down? I had to free him from pain. That is our beloved Bhagavan. Santukaram says, Wherever Hari's name is chanted, love dwells there. Love comes from God in search of his devotees. Yes, Swami says, I don't want anything from you. If you want to give me something, only give me your love. When a pure heart, overflowing with love, is offered to me, my hand comes forth to receive it. Otherwise, it only keeps giving all the time. It never receives. Swami also says, love is God and God is love. The real measure of an individual's spiritual progress is divine love. We receive it directly from God. If we practice, see good, be good, do good, constantly in our lives, we can become recipients of God's love. There are many ways by which we can help the needy and the underprivileged. If we are able to see God's image in them while serving them, we will be able to experience divine love. Here is a story about a doctor from Mumbai who became a recipient of Swami's love in February 2002. The doctor had to go to Chennai to attend a wedding ceremony. A friend of his was also invited to the same wedding. So when the doctor asked the friend to come along, the friend put a condition that he would go along only if the doctor went to Puttaparthi on the way. Doctor agreed and they both reached Prashantinalayam. See that? That's how Swami wills and plans. They were seated in Darshan and Swami called them for an interview. On the same day itself, they went inside the interview room along with some other devotees and Swami offered a chair to the doctor's friend saying, sit on the chair. You are unable to sit on the ground, isn't it? The gentleman was surprised because he had never met Swami earlier. As gifts of grace, Baba materialized a few things for some in the room. Then he turned to the doctor and said, What do you want? Only your grace, the doctor replied. Swami smiled and inquired about his practice. The doctor said, I don't charge any fees to poor patients. I also give them free medicines. Swami seemed very satisfied with the answer. He blessed the doctor and said, Sri Siddhi Vinayaka is watching 
over you with his gracious glances. The doctor dispensary is very close to Sri Siddhi Vinayaka Mandir in Mumbai. Next today in Darshan, from a distance, Swami looked at the doctor very lovingly, raised his hand in blessing and walked ahead. While walking, he gave some instructions to the Sevadal volunteer. In a short time, the volunteer came up to the doctor, took him along with his friend to the Ganesh gate. A car was waiting there. The Sevadal volunteer took them in the car to the super speciality hospital. According to Swami's instructions, they were taken to each and every department. The doctor was very touched. He felt very grateful for experiencing Swami's love and attention, which he realized when um, uh, he realized was Bhagwan Baba's reward to him for his service to the needy. We meet later. Thank you very much for your time.